All right, so the first step is to undo the uh, intake hose. So one clamp here and one clamp down here. Release the breather. You need to release a little bracket around it first. There's a little uh, clip on the bottom you have to push out and then up. And uh, once you're done taking this out, we will show you the next step. So now we need to remove the air box, which is uh, this box over here. The air box has one screw. It's a T30 down there. And uh, once this comes out, you just push the whole air box up and a bit to the right and it should come off. So as you can see, the air box is now out. It was a T25 on the corner, not a T30. And now uh, you just have to pull it out of the uh, rubber grommets here and then make sure you disconnect it by twisting and pulling out from the uh, intake pipe. And uh, let's do the next step. Now, just because on the mini, the actual recirculation valve or the blow off valve we're gonna replace is down here. And we, we have three screws we need to work with, um, which are threaded. So they're gonna be a bit hard to take out. Uh, I'm going to remove the expansion tank from here just to have a little bit more room to work with. So the next thing happening now is we have to remove the uh, map sensor from here and install the boss that came with uh, the forge thing. So uh, let's figure that one out. Okay, so the map sensor is out and in between we've sandwiched the uh, boss one. We need to attach the little hose here at the end and use the new... Uh, screw provided to, to fasten everything back in place. So let's uh, tighten this guy up. Now make sure you route the, uh, the tube behind so then you can bring it from the cold side around the firewall and uh, around to uh, where the little module will go right here. Now I managed to uh, take the first screw out. Um, moving the expansion tank has helped. So now I'm uh, working on the second screw. They're a total of three screws in a triangular form. And uh, let's uh, figure out how we're gonna get that uh, third one back there. All right, so the, uh, the recirculation valve is out. Um, and this is the uh, connector that goes to it. This is our blow off valve. So remember to put the, uh, the washers around. Um, and pretty important to say, this is the uh, old unit. That's what it looks like. And it comes with this little uh, assembly. So this stays out. So let's go and uh, offer our turbo or boom valve. Okay, so basically after a lot of friggin' difficulties, the new thing is inside. Um, the orientation is with the nozzle that's on the main body, that's straight down. So that's the orientation that's correct. And now we have to connect the vacuum hoses and then uh, reassemble everything and uh, see what we did. So now it's time to uh, place the solenoid. Uh, this is how you mount it to the bracket with the uh, screw supplied. Um, this is the spare screw from the map that's gonna go in this hole right there. So let's assemble that. Okay, so I've reassembled everything. Uh, very important note, remember to put zip ties on everything around all connections. Um, and, uh, yeah, route the, uh, breather cable, uh, around the engine bay safely. And, uh, that should be it. Let's give it a try. I'll be damned. It seems like it worked. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck if you attempt it. It's not that hard.